we're going to look at the, again at the concept of length contraption. We're going to suppose that I measure a, the length of a ruler. I'm standing on this ruler, and so I'm in the same reference frame as it is. I measure its length to be delta x of one meter. I do this by finding the ends of the location of the ruler at the same time. So I need to find two points at, say, time t equals zero and identify their space-time coordinates. The world lines for the ends of the ruler are, dis are displayed as follows on the, on the Minkowski diagram. They look like the red dashed lines. And since the ruler is at rest in my reference frame, I think that the, the world lines go straight up and down. Now let's suppose that you're in a different reference frame, S prime. You're moving past me at some velocity v. In your reference frame, you're also going to try to make a measurement of the length of the ruler. You'll do so by identifying two points, P1 and P2, which occur at the same time, T prime. In your frame, your, your evaluation of the length of the ruler, delta x prime, occurs by taking the difference in the two x prime coordinates for these two locations, P1 and P2. What do I say in my frame about your measurement of length? Well, because of the, length, the Lorentz transformation, the two points x1 and x2 that I think correspond to your points p1 and p2 are an admixture. x1 is equal to gamma x1 prime plus beta ct prime, and x2 is equal to gamma x2 prime plus beta ct prime. Notice that I use the same value of t prime for both of these Lorentz transformations because I think that, well, because you say you picked two times t prime for p1 and p2 that are equal. The length in my reference frame for what you saw is delta x, x2 minus x1. But if I use the Lorentz transformations, x2 is written as follows, and x1 is written like this. It's a gamma x1 prime plus beta ct prime. Since the times t prime are the same, then this just reduces to gamma t x2 prime minus x1 prime, or gamma times delta x prime. In other words, the length that you've measured, delta x prime, is equal to the length that I measured, delta x, divided by gamma. The moving observer, that's you, says that the distance we're looking at here for this ruler is shorter than what we claim when we're standing on the ruler. The observer, that's us, on, at rest with respect to the object being measured, always reports the longest distance. Any, mover, any observer moving relative to that object reports a contracted distance. And this is referred to as length contraction, or sometimes Lorentz contraction. 